Hey guys and welcome back to the factorial guide. So, uh, this is the basic layout. Actually, it's slightly wrong. This is now the basic layout for the uh, the science section. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you exactly how it works out. So, what we need down here is this got this has got to be tr ah there we go. I didn't have alt pressed. So that's going to be transport belt. Uh, this one here is going to be electronic circuits. This one here has to be inserters, but as you can see, you can't select inserters. That's because it's a grey assembly machine, so it's an assembly machine 1. You need assembly machine 2s to make uh, inserters because they require too many uh, pieces. This doesn't look right. Oh, we're, we're one too low. Hmm. Numpty. Uh, right, you can go... This whole thing isn't right. Huh, I'm just slightly, I'm slightly off. You need to be here. And you need to be here. Yeah, that's right. That's perfect. Okay. So... You can come around this way. There we are. Okay, so this, this is the one that needs to be electronic circuits, that's fine. And what we need from you is you need to be green. So in order to, if I've got an assembly machine, I want to make this assembly machine the exact same. What I can do is I can either click on it and just click, okay, green science packs. Or what I can do is if I shift right click it, it turns into copy mode, which gives you this green uh, this green outline. And I shift left click on another thing of the same of the same type and it'll do that. This works for, uh shitty balls. This works for a variety of stuff. Um, including uh, smart inserters or boxes and things like that. So if you set up a filter on a box or a limit on a box and it works the exact same for that as well. Right, so what we need to do is this one now needs to be copper cable. This one here needs to be gear wheels and these need to be red science packs. Okay, and that's how we get that working. So what we need is we need input here. Uh, sorry, output here input here. Okay. So this is obviously going to be... Uh, actually no, it's, it's the... I think that's the way I need to do it. I can't remember, I'll mess around with it. But yes, input then output. And let's destroy this for now. So we're gonna have... Iron coming up here, and what that needs to do is it needs to then be split. I'm missing iron. Darn it. Let's pick up some iron from here. Let's grab some magazines. Let's go and get rid of this copper ore into one of these. There we are. Okay, so... All I'm going to need to do is make a couple of splitters. And as soon as they're made. Uh, right, I need you to do that. I need you to go down and you to go up. You need to go in there and you need to go in there. You need to do that, you need to do that, and this is just a bit close. Okay, and that there is going to be iron. So, what happens is the... Uh, I know this may be a bit confusing as to what's happening right now, but it'll, uh, it'll all make sense eventually. Uh, that needs to be like so. Okay. Right, so iron's going to come up here, go down here, and get grabbed uh, into this, which will make iron gears. The iron gears are going to get out here and get split top and bottom. So they're going to go on one side, and then this is going to put iron on this side, which means that this can pick up iron from here. And that needs to be there. And then this can pick up iron and iron gears, because that's what it needs. You'll see soon enough. Uh, I might do that, actually, because it will make more sense. And then you need 
Ah, no, that's why it's done like that, isn't it? Derp. Okay. So that goes like so. Because that's what green science needs. Alright, and then what we've got is you come up here. Okay. I forget, why, why is this? It, it doesn't need to be there. I was trying to remember why it goes there, but it doesn't need to be there. It never needs to be there. Okay, so what you need to do is you take from here and then we get long-handed inserters to put back onto this belt, which goes down here. And it comes to this guy. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. Okay. And you obviously need to be this. So that'll place on that just fine, even though it's an underground belt, it'll still place on it. Uh, right, and... Uh, this here needs to be copper. Let's see if we've got... I don't think we have any more belt being made, so I'm going to need to manually do it. Just kind of sad. It's also sad that we're eating into this ore, but it's fine. Because we can still place a, a miner right, like, here. We can still shove a miner right, oops, right there. And it'll still pick up that ore. So. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Now let's pull these guys across. And remove all of this belt for now. And we need one, two. Alright, I think that's where we need the splitter. Okay. Couple more. Oh my god, I need one more. Alright, let's shove you there, you there. You there, and you... Here. Ah, that's why it's moved up one. I told you sometimes I forget things, it's because the, uh, the power cables are too small. Like the, the early power cables. They just don't fit. Okay, and you need to be copper cable. Alright, that's all powered, that's all powered. We need that, and... Shove that there. Okay, this can all be cleaned up later anyway. Alright, so now you can kind of see how this all works right here. Alright, then the next thing we need is just the copper getting brought up to here. Oh, I didn't mean that. I pushed tab by accident and ended up shotgunning my own base. One thing you better watch for shotguns. They're a bit dodgy. Right. So we've now got the, the irons coming around here. We need a couple inserters. Just stand here and steal a load of iron. There we go, let's get three inserters. They can do that and then... Let's get another three. And that can go there and there we go. That will start outputting red signs for us. Because as soon as we hook up the copper, that is.
All right. Let's pull that straight down to here. Let's come over here. Oh my god. There we go. And the copper's hooked up, so that'll start making us green signs. Uh, so uh, red signs, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to do is I'm going to nip over here. I'm going to pick up all of this junk. Like I said, you're supposed to start off with the uh, <laughs> with one side. Uh, like I said in one of the previous episodes, but because uh, I say that doesn't mean that I do it all the time. But sometimes I'm a bit silly. Don't forget to. Okay, so now what we need is... Let's shove you here. Okay. I was going to say, are you guys just not making? Are you, are you on strike or something? But no, they're making now. Uh, and what I need is I need... Five, six... Seven, I need another three of them, so what do I need for it? Uh, I'm missing iron. One, two, and... Three. Okay, so now we're making the right amount for these. I'm going to need... Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh god, we're going to need more of these. Uh, Eight, four, eight. Oh. Five. There we go. Right. Let's do that. I'm still not made any because we're still plowing through the uh, the prerequisites. Jesus. Okay, let's grab a hold of some of this ammo that's been made. And go and load up our guns a little bit. Do they need anything? No. I don't think this area is going to get attacked again. I think it's going to be the uh, the science area before anything else. So let's nip over here. Unfortunately, we've got worms over there, so it's going to be a bit rough for us. But they're not very big worms, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Let's shove in fifty into each of these. That should be plenty. And I've still got fifty five above on top of the hundred that I'm sitting on. What I could try and do is aggro this group. Wow, okay. There's a lot more of them there than I expected. Uh, aggro that group. I'm going to quickly save the game. Where is this? There we go, the Steam Series. There we are. And oh my god, look at the speed of these guys. Look at how fast they just re reproduce. What the heck? Jesus! It's ridiculous! Oh my god, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need help. Oh my god, there we go. Right, shove you in here. Like an neck. That spawner is almost impossible for me to kill with uh with my rifle, I'm gonna need my to use my shotgun for it. The issue is it's got um, physical resistance, as you can see at the bottom, which means that. Uh... Oh, which means that I lose uh, efficacy with my with my rifle. I'm slowly but surely murdering this biter, this uh, spitter as well. Yeah, I'm better off using just this to kill the spitter. Right, and as you've seen, the uh... I thought I died there. Fucking hell. Um... What do with the better armor crafting? But uh... Probably keep going with bullet damage. Military 2 I can't get, can't get oil processing, any of that nonsense. Uh, let's go with electronics because that leads to some really nice things. I actually thought I died when the uh, when the signs come up. 
because uh, it was just as I got attacked. Thankfully, with the fact that we've got bullet damage, maybe we can. Ah, I doubt it. We just don't have the armor piercing. So we're going to need to just keep using the shotgun for now, anyway. Right, let's remove these guys and place them a bit, a bit closer. Okay, let's fix them up a bit. Unfortunately, you don't get anything for. Uh... Yeah, it's a lot better doing this. I can regeneration. Don't, don't stand away from that because I don't want to take any damage from it if I don't need to. So you see, it says spitter spawner. So right now, all we're getting is biters, and biters are—they're a pain in the ass, but they're melee units. Uh, the spitters, however, are the uh, the ranged units, and they are fucking woeful. You need to be uh, you need to be quite far advanced if you're going to take off a horde of spitters because uh, the higher the higher evolved spitters outrange your regular guns, which is very annoying. So we're doing a bit of turret creep here. Alright, shove you down. The magazine on you. Okay, unfortunately they've uh, they've started to attack these guys. I don't know how much uh, I don't know how much armor piercing these get. Uh zero. <laughs> so they just wasted a load of ammo shooting that. But that's that's alright. Ammo's what well, it says, pretty cheap. It's just iron, so it's not a big deal. There we go. Now that's one of the safest ways to do it, is to push up with a line of turrets and just shotgun the stuff. Uh, there's an option in the options menu to automatically pick up alien giblets. Or alien artifacts are called, but I call them giblets. So if I ever refer to anything as giblets, or uh, some people call them cotton candy as well, or candy floss if you're British. Uh, so if you hear any of those things referenced, uh, not only in this series, but in a different series then, or by some other YouTuber, then you will understand exactly what they're talking about. They're talking about cotton candy, giblets, or alien artifacts. Alright, let's, uh, I want to explore just a bit further, just so that I'm, I'm not blindsided by any attacks that we get. Because that can really fuck you. I don't know if that's biters down there. I see there's two little red dots. I don't know if it's biters or no, it's definitely biters because Wait a second. No, it's just worms. It's just random fucking worms in the middle of nowhere. What the hell? Well, let's just destroy it while we're here. Okay. Just run that at holding spacebar. Yeah, that's all it was. It was just two little worms. I don't, I don't understand that, but whatever. And let's go and explore the other side. Make sure there's no little red marks. So you notice we've got health down the bottom. I haven't really mentioned this, but we've got health down the bottom where it slowly regenerates. There are ways to get health back, and I'll actually show you. It's not. It's not the greatest way. It's uh, it's kind of something that was added just just because it's like I don't know it's kind of pants it's by you eat fish and it's raw fish as well it's not even cooked fish you don't even eat, I don't even think you can cook a fucking fish but uh, what you do is you come over to the, the water and you see these little bits they are fish right click them you pick them up raw fish and what you do is you grab the raw fish and you click them on yourself and you see it heals you it's not too bad for the actual amount that you get healed, but it's just a pain in the ass to get them. There's no auto automated way to do it. There's a few mods that change, uh, they give you slightly automated ways to do it, but they're not that great. Right, but now we have, uh, our entire little area is explored and we know that we're not going to have any issues from aliens. Four, five. So you're probably wondering, like, okay, so Steve, you've picked up these alien artifacts. Why? Why have you done this? Why have you got these alien artifacts? What are they good for? 
And what they're good for is alien science, so it's a, a different type of science thing. It's a purple science. And I will show you about that in one of the future episodes. But, as for right now, we are out of time. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.